We have folks that have been here for 30 plus years that are happy to share their knowledge and pass on the uh, what they've learned. Um, we do a lot of close work with uh, government and professional type users. So think of you know military or aircraft pilots. And we can take the knowledge and learning from that, we can apply it to other sectors like recreational boating. There was a, a deep desire for curiosity and innovation that kind of kick-started everything. So the, the floater code is what Irv Davies originally came up with. He was looking for an alternative method for insulation and it kind of accidentally discovered that it also floated. So it was a very innovative product. And I think it's interesting because it, it allowed people to float, it kept them warm, and it kept them dry. And we've kind of taken those technologies over the last 50 years through that view of innovation and encouraging curiosity and really propelled ourselves to be the world leaders in both flotation and dry technologies. The whole premise around the company was around saving lives. So building, flotation to save lives um, and it didn't really matter what sort of work or play you were doing on the water the company's vision was to protect you keep you safe and save your life but it's now also geared towards performance and so especially for the recreational user I think over the 50 years, we've really developed some key capabilities. So we really are world leaders. And I think it's for us, the big opportunity is to spread the word. And if you're gonna go out on the water and do some activities, the first thing you think of is Mustang Survival. Like everything, it starts with the people. So we're able to attract great people that are passionate about the water, about the technology. Um, we have a great training program internally. One day we got a call from Vancouver Coastal Health. They had ran out of isolation gowns for PPE and they basically were looking for companies that manufactured locally that ha could help them design, develop and get something running. We brought a bunch of different companies together. We worked with Arcteryx and a few others to design and develop uh, a new, basically a gown, an isolation gown within a week or so. And then we turned on our manufacturing a week later and we started producing. I think overall the recreational boating industry needs to become a little more accessible um, and recognize that people are not living in big houses and have the space to store a boat. And if we can come together as an industry to, to maybe help the future generations get on the water, um, that's going to be you know, vital to our success.